The pace of camp is exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. We get up at about 7.15 and have a meeting before our opening celebration. After we walk through opening celebration with the entire camp, it's just a lot of excitement, a lot of music, a lot of noise. We all disperse and go to Bible study together. Being at camp and being taught Bible study at the same time allows a kid to have fun and allows a kid to be in a different atmosphere than they're used to learning the truth of God's Word. There are kids from all different churches mixed together in a group of about 30 students with one of our staffers who leads the Bible study. Within this Bible study, they walk through activities, they walk through principles and truths found in God's Word, and this is just something that will set the tone for the rest of the day. Every other element of camp will rotate and flow through, these, through this theme, and um, we'll set the theme and set the tone for an entire week of camp that will illustrate one specific truth of God's Word that we can pattern our lives after. After seeing those things click in students, after spending a week with them, that makes it worthwhile. That, that's, that's why six years of Fuge have gone by in my life, and, and I'm still in the middle of it. After lunch comes the fun part of the tracks, man. In the afternoon, there's a lot of options. Softball, I did messy games, and then Adventure Rec. Adventure Rec was tight, let me tell you. I went down the zip line in the swing, climbed the rock wall. It's just a lot of fun. I mean, it's high th like a high through wide. I like the uh, team aspect of Wreck-It Fuge because it's, you use a lot of teamwork because you're, you're having to be quiet and listen to others and use teamwork with, you know, 15, 20 other people. Um, and, and, and there's a lot of varieties of, of track times and recreation um, from, you know, learning a lot about Christ to just playing and having fun. There's just a lot to offer. Fuge to me is just a great way to get out of the area you live and just be able to go and praise God and just grow, grow stronger in Christ. It's, it's great to be able to see the, the younger people just loving each other and, and, and I saw a lot, of, a lot of the young people in my youth group go down front and just pray to God and just cry and you know crying's a good thing. There was a guy I had no clue who he was and I could just tell that something was on his heart. I don't know what it was but I just asked him, I said, man can I pray for you and he said sure. Following dinner, we have our time of, of worship, which is an amazing time. Uh, the, the, the speaker this week has just uh, caused us all to really take a look at what we're doing to reach the world around us. The time of praise where we're singing and that kind of stuff has, has just really uplifted us to be able to be prepared to hear that message. To come and to worship here in this large setting, especially from students all across the United States, everything like that. They just get, I think it's something that, that fuels them to see that they're not the only ones. Following that, we have church group devotions. Uh, during that time, it's, uh, it's a sweet time for us anyways to, to really be able to get involved in each other's lives. Uh, and that time of worship just sets it up perfect to be able to go into that time together. To see them want to continue that experience, uh, we do when, in our personal time together. Uh, that is something that they feel the impression of God on them to say, hey, if I had it at camp, why can't I have it at home too? And that basically is a day of fuge. Thank you.